Bristol was not only creator, he was fierce eagle warrior. One day, on a hot day, a beautiful white swan was flying over, seeing Bungel's water hole, and decided to go for a swim. Now Bungel seen this from the sky, so Bungel flew down full of anger and fury, and he tore into the bird, ripping and shredding and tearing at the bird, flew off, leaving the bird a bloody dying mess. Now Wa seen this, Wa crow, and Wa felt sorry for the poor dying bird. So Wa hopped out of wherever he was and started to sing and dance around the bird. And as he sang and danced around the bird, he placed some of his feathers on the bird. And he did this a few times, and then he went to the head of the bird. There he sang. And as he sang, the feathers split and grew and split and grew until finally they covered the whole of the bird's body, healing him, turning him into the first black swan. And this is why the native swan of Victoria is black. Now, how do we know this could be a true story? Well, next time you see a black swan, look very carefully. His beak is red from the blood that was spilt, and when he ruffles his feathers, there's a few white ones left from the time before he fought with Bunger the Eagle. And that's how we got in Victoria the black swan. Thank you. And this is my...